Hi, this is Magnar and welcome back to episode 4 in this modern tutorial series for Run to Total War. In this episode we're going to, I'm going to show you how to create your first simple mod and launch it in game. So if we start off going to where we're going to be doing all our modding, mine's in my tutorial folder here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Pack File Manager. We're going to go File, New, and it should say untitled.pack. So right click on the untitled and go add empty directory. Let's open up actually. For this episode, we'll open up also data underscore round two, just so we can compare the file structure as we go along. So in this mod, what we're going to do is we're going to change the starting, the base income for all factions from what is about 3,000 in vanilla, and we're just going to change it to a value which we can see is straight away that it's actually making a difference. Now that is set in a file, a table called campaign variables. So what we're going to do is we're in our pack over here, <clears throat> we're going to mimic, create the exact same file directory as is in this folder here. In this pack file here, so we've got the the name of the pack. Underneath, we're going to have the folder called DB. So rename DB. Notice that the name of the pack has not changed yet. It's green, which means that something's been added to it. Now we're going to actually add the folder with campaign variables in it. We could do this one of two ways. We could actually create another empty add, empty directory, call it campaign variables tables, like this one down here. Campaign variables tables. We could create another folder in there just as that, and then add the file. Or what we're going to do here, just to speed it up a bit, <clears throat> we're going to go from pack, add from pack. We're going to go to the location of our own two data directory and we're going to go down to this pack here here it is, open <coughs> a little box will pop up like this and we can open it up and it will be exactly the same as here db and then we can scroll down to campaign variables here right here so if we had already created the empty folder here for campaign variables, we would just double click on this file to add it to that folder. Uh, but seeing as we haven't added the folder yet, what we can do is just right click on the folder and now it will add the entire folder and everything underneath it. We didn't do this for the DB folder because we didn't want to have 800 database tables added to it. We only wanted this one table. So click OK and there it is. It's green again still just like this, which means that it's been added to the pack. Now we can save this and it'll ask us to save it somewhere. So we're going to save it to where we're doing all our work in the tutorial folder. We want to save it here. So I'll just go to my tutorial folder there we are, and we'll call it <coughs> Magna Tutorial and save. And there it is. Now you can see that all the text has gone black. The table name here has been changed to DB. That means that nothing's changed in it. What we're going to do now is rename this table. So right click on it, right click, rename, and we're going to change the name of this table because we don't want to overwrite vanilla. We just want to change two values. Um, so we don't need to have a whole table in there. This will improve our compatibility with other mods as well. So I'm going to call it mag underscore tutorial. As you can see, you shouldn't have any spaces in this name. Nor should you have spaces in the name of your mod pack. If you have spaces in the name in your mod pack, it won't be able to load. So now it's green. I've changed the name, which means I've added something. And we can save it again. I like to save very often in case 
something happens um, and I don't want to lose all my work and start again. Okay, so now we can open this table up. Click on it, now it opens. And we're going to scroll down to Faction GDP. Uh, here it is. Faction GDP other and Faction GDP other minor. This sets the base income for major and minor factions. Before we actually edit this, we're going to actually remove all the file, all the table, uh, sorry, rows that we don't want to use. So we're going to click on the little button here, the number, to the left of this row to select the whole row, and then we're going to scroll up to the top, all the stuff we don't want to use, and then press the delete key. Gone. Now the quicker way, we click on the the number, we push control plus shift and push the down key, just like in Excel, and we'll start it all and push delete. And done. Now we can change the value here to whatever number we want. So for this mod, I'm going to do 20,000, just so we can see a difference in game. Do it for both, doesn't matter which faction we pick now. Now if we click here, you see all the folders and table and file and folders are all red which means something's been changed in one of the files and all the folders back will be red because it'll help you find files that have been changed so if you have a close here we go okay the packs red which means something in the pack has been changed okay it's in this folder it's in this folder and here it is just helps you find it I mean, that's obvious when we've only got one file, but when we have many more, then it helps you just know what's been changed. So now we'll save that. And we don't need to be in there anymore. Now what we'll do is we'll go to our Roam2 data directory. And we'll copy the mod pack that we've just created. Oh, first thing we should do, actually, sorry, is we need to make sure the mod type is correct. So if we go down here, to File, change pack type. It's set to mod by default, but there are a bunch of other ones. What this pack type does, it determines the load order of the mod. If you want yours to be loaded with the mod managers, then you keep it at mod pack type. Movie pack type was used pre-patch 5 because there was a problem with the mod pack type. But now all mods should be using this. If you're having some problems like your mods loading even when you don't have it selected in mod manager, a lot of the time it can be because you have movie type selected by accident. So make sure it's in mod pack type. Okay, so now we can copy it over and we'll paste it. In here, and there it is, Magna Tutorial. And now we can load Rome 2 up. So we go to Mod Manager, and we make sure nothing else, for this, we'll make sure nothing else is ticked. Okay, so none of these boxes are ticked, except the one we just added, which is called Magna Tutorial, and there it is. So we'll tick that box, the one we want to use, and then we'll launch the game. And here we are, in the Rome campaign, first turn, haven't done anything, and look at the income. It's about 20,000, as we expected. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or problems, just post in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Catch you next time.